Hemant 31, I had a question coming out of section 3.5, number 21. And this is where we were asked to determine where this function is increasing and decreasing. So let me just head over to my y equals and let me graph this. I'll put the x plus 3 in. Oops. Okay, minus 2. And since we're on a strictly math problem, I'm going to hit zoom 6. Let me take a look. So I can see that this thing is really decreasing for the left half of the graph and increasing from the right. And just looking at it, its, it's domain is all real numbers because there's no fractions, there's no radicals, there's no logarithms. So I just need to figure out where this minimum point is because if I could figure that out, I would know that I was decreasing from negative infinity to whatever that x-coordinate is and then increasing from that x-coordinate to infinity. And just looking at it, one, two, three, it looks like it's at negative three. That x-coordinate looks to be at negative three, but let me hit my calculate screen and let's get that minimum. So I'm gonna do option three. Now you can use blinky, or, and when I say blinky, I can move the little blinker in. There we can see them. And I can hop to the left side of it. That's one way and I could hit enter, but I, I'm kind of, I say lazy, maybe efficient. If this is negative three, I, I just think of an x value to the left of negative three, so like negative five. And then what's an x value to the right of negative three? I'm gonna pick zero. And I could have picked a lot of different options, but you see the two triangles pop up here. Just saying, hey, between those two x coordinates, can you get me the minimum point there? And you can guess if you want. I could type in negative three, but I also just, I hit enter. And there it is, there's my x coordinate at negative three. I know there's a bit of a round off error there. So if we look at my solutions after I've graphed that, that's why you see me saying that the interval was decreasing from negative infinity to negative three and then increasing from negative three to infinity. All right, so that's number 21. Thanks so much, bye.